Hi guys, Lil here from Museframe. Um, just want to do a tutorial of how to use the Museframe software and get your beautiful digital art um, showcased on the frame. So you set up the frame, you've installed it, and now you turn it on, you see this screen. Um, so you've got three different options of showcasing art using our free software for your own collection. We've got Sedition, which is an art streaming service of the best digital art catalog on the market. And then we've got a looping media player um, for events and, and times that you don't have a Wi-Fi connection. Firstly, um, you want to connect your frame to Wi-Fi. So once you have done that, this one's already connected, you want to jump into the Museframe software. You want to download the Museframe app, create an account, um, and this will give you the ability to control the frames from any distance and control up to 100 frames at once um, to make that a really easy experience. So you want to select the Museframe using the remote, and then you want to open the Muse app. You want to go to Add New Frame. You want to name the frame. Click scan QR code. You want to scan this QR code at the bottom here, and that's going to connect your mobile app to the frame. Once you see this um, sign, you're going to want to go to your mobile gallery, uh, sorry, your gallery on the Muse frame, and you want to start um, putting in artwork from your digital wallets or from your phone library. We've allowed you to add from your phone library because if there's some artwork that we don't support yet on different blockchains um, or you just want to showcase anything from your phone library, you have the ability to do so. And you can also edit the QR code scan so you can also have that provenance to stuff that isn't on chain and showcase, um, you know, lead the people to your own website or where it is on the marketplace to show that provenance. Um, so once you have this screen, you want to select a frame, you want to add some artwork from your gallery. So I've already got a lot of artwork in my gallery on various frames. Um, you want to select a piece and then add that to frame, um, which will showcase the artwork onto the frame instantly. And from here, you can. Um, there's a bunch of different settings to show how you want to see the uh, see the artwork. You can show the info. You can zoom in. You can adjust the duration time. You can adjust the background color. Um, and a lot of different functionality. So if you are to show the info, that's gonna showcase a, um, a QR code here and title an artist, which you can edit. Um, and that's for artwork that isn't on chain from your mobile library. For artwork that is on chain, um, it's gonna also have the token ID and the wallet address that owns it. Um, and then, yeah, you can change these backgrounds, you can change the size, and you can fully customize the way you wanna view that. Um, the beauty of the Muse frame is that we constantly update the software, so all you have to do is um, click, select the control tab on your frame and update the version, which will update the, the firmware on the frame um, based on all the new features. We're going to have some playlist functionality coming very soon and multiple more blockchains, Solana, Bitcoin, Ordinals, um, all integrated, so we'll just get you to update the, um, the, the app and that will all you know, increase the functionality of your Muse frame. You can also change the duration of the artwork and, you know, everything that um, we could think of to make the experience as seamless as possible. Now we've got Sedition, which is the art streaming service. So uh, when you buy a Muse frame, you get a free subscription for a month. But if you want to continue, it's $15 a month and you get access to the best art catalogue of over 6,000 pieces by over a thousand of the, um, the best artworks in the space. And that can stream directly on the Muse frame. Um, you can curate a bunch of playlists based on mood and based on the different types of artworks they've got and you can stream all the different art pieces um, directly to your Muse frame um, via, uh, yeah, via the Citizen catalog and all you have to do is scan the QR code and, and log in. Lastly, we've got the Blooping Media Player um, which you can add stuff from USB and just loop it seamlessly onto the Muse frame. Uh, our, our app supports up to 500 megabytes but if you want any more than that you'd have to use the USB. We've also got settings um, and the file manager for the back end. That's it from me guys, thank you so much.